Welcome back to the Movie Scouts 007 Keyboard Road Warrior series, where we play Euro Truck Simulator 2 with nothing but a keyboard and a laptop. So, um, at the end of the last journey, we had arrived in uh, Milano. Um, obviously, we are getting uh, higher up, uh, it, level wise, level 7, so it's taking longer to level up. Um, but we're about halfway, so it should take another journey, maybe two, to get us to uh, level 8. Um, so, um, first things first, let's give the give the uh, lorry a little bit of TLC and get some rest. So we're going to go and um, we're also going to want, uh, wander around Milan and pick up the, the collectibles. Actually we might have already got them, let's quickly check the map. No, no, there they are. Boom, sorry. You zoom out and it wanders off in all sorts of directions. Alrighty. So yes, there's one collectible. We're going to take a left and follow the road all the way until we have no choice. So, that's um, not really a great deal coming from that direction, but a lot coming from that. So we'll wait for that car to go, and then uh, we shall scoot over. Um, I don't have a plan for what to talk about today. Normally I sort of sit down and think, what do I want to talk about? But I don't really have a plan um, today. Um, so we'll just freewheel it. Um, um, I, obviously it's the middle of November and... Um, sorry, <laughs> November, it's middle of December. It's the middle of December. And you're all aware that... Oh, hello. We've got some stuttering going on. That's not good. Um, yeah, we were aware... Oh, blimey, this is annoying. This could actually get quite irritating. Um, yes, yeah, so you're aware that I'm a Liverpool fan. Uh, Liverpool Football Club. And they're uh, having a bit of a good run. They had a bit of a disaster... Uh, three games ago, we we lost to a side uh, that, frankly, no disrespect to Hull. Oh gosh, I've just fixed my truck and I've just crashed it. Phew. Um, that will come up in wear and tear, though. It's not done enough damage to be considered uh, s significant to can enough to raise it to one percent, but it is still damage. We we don't get away with it. Uh, we're going to take a left here. Um, yes, but aside from the uh, the appalling game against Hull, we've had uh, two or three really good games, and we've lifted ourselves to. They've lifted. Sorry, I keep doing that. I keep saying we, as if I was on the pitch. Um, they've lifted themselves to second, and they're now uh, just a few points behind the current leaders, Arsenal, who are having a bit of a disaster. Um. And we have a Scania dealership. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually, no, we need to... Oh, no, no, no. Because of course this guy's going to... No, no. He's going to plunk himself right up our bum. Because why wouldn't he? Because who doesn't like... Uh, this is what happens. Right. So we'll get our uh, maintenance, our rest and recuperation, and then we'll select our new job. So let's uh, quickly repair. It should be in hundreds. Shouldn't be in thousands. Yeah, it's three hundred and twenty-three pounds. That's good. All right, and um, obviously we've not levelled up, so there's new, no new upgrades to look at. All right, and let's 
it's a parker, so it's easy to leave. Uh, sadly, it's now half past eleven, and it's chucking it down. Uh, so let's um, let's select our job for this uh, atrocious weather. Let's go to the freight market. Remembering we're in Milan, Milano. We don't want to go to Strasbourg. We've been to Strasbourg. Have we been to Stuttgart? No, I don't think we've been to Stuttgart. So Stuttgart. Here we come. Yep, I think that's the one we will select. Stuttgart. Um, okay. Let's go to the depot and select uh, and uh, pick up our job. Excellent. And uh, put our windscreen wipers on. I am um, obviously I'm a Volvo man and um, if you are aware of the Pro Mods, you'll know that they've stuck the, um, huge bases for both uh, Volvo and Scania into the game for you to find. Okay, that's not showing me. Uh, that's not showing me the job I've selected. So it probably didn't. Didn't click on it and accept it. Milan, Stuttgart, set the GPS. All right, there we go. So now we should be getting our instructions. Yes, we are. Is there anything coming? No. Nope. Um. Wow. Well, this is. This is. Uh, there is. Um, there's lots of weather packs and um, while I'm tempted to download them I'm also um, temp uh, not going to um, there's a winter mod pack which is fine uh, it's, it's fine it looks good but the trouble is it's not variable it's on or you go into the thing and, sl and click it off you can't you can't have it's not like rain where you can set the likelihood of there being rain or not it's either on or it's off I don't particularly want that I want my my weather conditions to be dynamic that's why I like the rain now there are people who don't there is a straight there is a, a strata of people that play this game that like it to make like to make it as hard as possible they have um, they have mods which lower the amount of money you get for every journey. They've got mods. Whoa, 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 whoa. They've got mods that make the conditions hazardous. They've got mods that make the loads so big it makes it difficult for you to actually negotiate things like tight uh, access roads to motorways and buildings. Oh, I just got a ticket. Damn it. £280. I thought that was yellow. They shouldn't put the light, the colour, in the light if it's not on, because that's how it works in the real world. The only colour you see is the light that's illuminated. So that's a bit annoying. That's how you know what light is working, as you can see it. All right. So let's. So oh, hello. What's going on here? Ah, there we go. Everything's going just a little bit slowly today. Okay, that might be troublesome for us once we've got our load on. Right. That's attached. That wasn't the best reversing I've ever done, but I seem to get away with it. Which is slightly unrealistic. If this was a little bit more realistic, I would probably not have got away with that. So, can't see through those windows. That's a little bit difficult to deal with. 
Please don't crash into me. Please don't crash into me. Thank you very much, Mr. Car Transporter. Right, that's green. But as you can see, that the other two lights are actually illuminated. And that's... Oh, crikey. That's a nonsense. They shouldn't be. They absolutely shouldn't be. Um, they should be black. Because there's a bulb underneath the light, and it's the bulb underneath the light that illuminates the coloured... Um, the coloured disc, which tell, which tells you red light, amber light, green light. Um, yeah, here we go. We are ready to rock and roll. Uh, okay. Um, oh, my goodness me. Am I going to catch every red light on the way here? Um, so, yeah, there, I mean, I, I, I don't mind uh, having a bit of realism. I really don't. And I love realism that makes the game easier to play, you know, like having a steering wheel, like uh, lights that work properly, um, like um, oncoming headlights being a, a reasonable... In grief, good grief, am I going to hit every single red light? Oh no, we're green, we're good. Um, but I don't want to make the game unnecessarily difficult for myself to play. I mean, if this, this, playing these games isn't a test of manhood. It's supposed to be about having fun, for crying out loud. So, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I won't install a game that makes it more difficult. That said, if you're going to have a, if you're going to have a winter mod, if you're going to have a, a mod that adds ice and snow, then you have to have realistic driving figure physics which means you have to it has to be a bit slippery you have to take it a bit more carefully I uh, don't particularly uh, enjoy driving in, in icy snowy conditions, I don't mind rain but I don't particularly enjoy driving in snowy and icy conditions but if you've got to it should be at least a little bit challenging ok Careful throttle control, we don't want to tip this bad boy over. There we go, uh, we clouted a barrier the last time that uh, we took a spiral. Uh, we took one of these access roads too quickly, and I don't want to do that again, That's, uh, it wasn't good. So, um, this is a similar length journey to the last one. Um, so we're probably looking at another 30 minutes real time. Uh, was it seven hours of, of in-game time it's quite it, I, I like the fact that the rain is so um, so hard on the roof you can't actually hear the engine you can hear the motor but you can't hear the, the truck engine beneath you I don't know how realistic that is maybe that's not good, maybe that's bad but um, it's interesting um, I'm, I am sorry that this is a nighttime drive. I know the nighttime drives aren't nearly as interesting as the daytime ones because you can't see as much of the landscape. For those who are wondering, that is why I have the main. Ooh, that's why I have the main beams on. I want you guys to be able to see where we're going and see a little bit, even if it's not as much as we would in the daylight. Because it's you know six pounds. It's fine by me. Um. It would be interesting, actually, if because we're in Europe, it charges us, in, charges us in euros and then puts the pound price in brackets. Uh, maybe that would be asking too much. Maybe that would be uh, unnecessary to enjoying the game. I'd like to think that when they add stuff, they add it because it's, it, because it's to make the game more fun. New trucks make the game more fun and varied. New cities to de to deliver to make the, the the game more interesting and more varied. Uh, where where the changes in weather patterns make the, the you know the the roads, the the journeys more interesting and varied and ex exciting, and and more interesting to deliver to. Oh crikey, sorry, I'm t busy fiddling with something off the computer and. This is, must be how uh, streamers, this must be the trouble that streamers have. I often watch streamers and think, wow, they were all over the shop. And then 
when you have to do something like like read a bit of text off a screen, you realise just quite how much you have to take your eye off the road and how much can happen in that time. Uh, I also ne nearly knocked my cup of coffee over, which would have been catastrophic. Okay, we are entering Italy, folks. Uh, sorry, no, we're leaving Italy. <laughs> we're entering Switzerland. <laughs> Oh dear, Stephen. Oh dear. I got the flag right. I just got uh, my location wrong. We, so we're leaving Italy. We're entering Switzerland. We'll skip through Switzerland and uh, go into Germany. So um, I think we're... Oh, I think the rain is over. I think we we changed areas. And so bye-bye rain. It's fine by me. You can now actually hear the lorry engine. I like that. I actually prefer. I like to hear the lorry engine. I like to hear that lovely, satisfying rumble beneath your beneath your bum, as um, as it as it is in a cab over. And um, it's yeah, it's deeply satisfying to hear that rumble. So it's a vastly fast approaching Christmas. We had to post out our um, Christmas cards. We were a bit late, to be honest. We should have posted them maybe a week ago. Um, they might now reach their destination after Christmas. Although um, the 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 person behind the counter at the Kiwi Post uh, place said that uh, four to ten days would help, be how long it took. That's of course working days. That doesn't really include Saturdays or Sundays. So that's two weeks. So I mean that's essentially after Christmas. Really, it's between. It's between Friday and, and after Christmas. And let's park ourselves on the left-hand side of the road. Get ourselves out of the way of the fast-moving traffic. Although, that said, we're in mainland Europe now, so they can, they can overtake me on whatever side they want. Or they can over or undertake me, sorry. Um, so, um, obviously we're not at home. We are in a foreign country for a year, and you can't really bring a lot. To be honest, 90% of what we brought was clothes. Um, I brought my PlayStation, we bought a laptop, uh, I put all of my games into one of those CD sleeves that you used to have to carry around with you when you were, when um, the Discman was a thing. Ugh, my mouse keeps moving and keeps moving my screen, which is monumentally annoying. If you're wondering that is what, why this screen keeps flicking around, it's because my mouse, when I shift my mouse pad, the mouse moves with it, which... I can't do anything about it. There we go, it's at it again. I'm going to move that away from me. I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to the mouse pad. Um, so, um, so obviously because of that, um, we, a lot of my family, all of my family are in the UK. Uh, and as such, I'm not going to be able to give them presents. We're going to, we're going to organise that my nephew gets something because, well, he's my nephew and he's wonderful. And, um, what, why should he have to not get the present he was going to get just because I'm not in the country? So we're going to sort something out like that. My mother is a is is a, a, a brand new Kindle uh, devotee. We managed to get her on the uh, we managed to mainline her on the Kindle, so we'll pro probably get a buttload of of, of uh, money for her Kindle. Same with my dad. They're voracious readers. My my parents, and so it's one of the things that I love to do. Actually, it was, one, it was something I was talking about that I ran out of time to talk about last journey. It was um, my passion for reading and um, why it's important. But, um, but other than that, I think it's going to be a relatively inexpensive Christmas for us. Um, but we still sent cards. I, I know cards uh, get a, a bit of a bad press from a lot of people. Um... But my family, for my family, uh, cards have tended to be more important than the presents. It's, this, it's the outpouring of sentimentality, <laughs> which is a tiny bit American. But hey, who cares? I like America. Um, and if I could do my, if I could earn my living there, that's where I'd be. Um, ooh, that's. Uh, I think this is a split there. Yeah, this is where two lanes go into one. If I am quick, yep, I can 
jump the queue. Ah, so isn't that brilliant? They've created a contraflow on a... Okay, they created a contraflow in a tunnel. Now, I'm wondering whether that isn't so that they didn't have to render both tunnels. <laughs> Which is a bit mean of me, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's so that they don't have to render both sides, both tunnels at the same time. If it saves my computer from having a, a coronary and an embolism, then, then uh, fine. I'm down with that. Oh, blimey, we are travelling slowly. Okay, we'll, um, we'll stick it on cruise control with the, C, with the C key. C for Charlie. <clears throat> Alright, we're back with, uh, with our right foot on the accelerator, or in reality, our left middle finger on the W key. <laughs> It's, I, I don't know what is so fascinating about being in a tunnel, which is essentially repeated, um, it's repeated textures, you know, they've, essentially each of these panels has got a, it's, it's one texture just repeated, it's got a light in the middle of it, it's curved, uh, it's got gr a grey stripe at the bottom and a grey stripe at the top, and it's a repeated pack texture, but it, it's just, it's so reminiscent of a, of a genuine uh, road tunnel. And it's um, I don't know. It's in, I mean, this is this is a fun game to play. It's an enjoyable game to to take part in. And I don't know why that is. I can't fathom it. I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't want to question it too closely in case I stop enjoying the game because there are um, there are so many things in life which uh, bring us down. There's no need to take away one of the things that uh, brings me up. You know, yeah, video gaming and uh, is, is a bit like my uh, my drug, along with coffee, because I don't smoke and I don't I don't take drugs and um, I'm trying I'm cutting out alcohol uh, as a, uh, a weight loss program. I'm not cutting it out completely. I'm just cutting down. But so I'm cutting out the number of drugs that I'm taking, and so to take away one that is essentially harmless would seem silly. So here we have a different tunnel. See, we we've literally we're in the same road, and we've got a we've got a different style of of tunnel interior. The, there are no wall panels. This one's got those fantastic uh, things that I like to refer to fresh air jet engines, where you get um. It's it's helping move the air uh, along the tunnel and move the carbon mo uh, monoxide out of the tunnel. This one's not as well illuminated as the one that's got the lights in every panel, but that's entirely realistic. That's fine. And we're back to full speed, ahoy! So we're going from uh, we're going from uh, we, we, in the last. Uh, three journeys we've gone to France Italy and Germany th th probably the three big economic players in in uh, in uh, mainland Europe uh, possibly Spain although not so much anymore they are having tremendous financial problems it surprises me given how corrupt the Italian government was under Berlusconi that that Italy isn't in even more dire straits than it actually is. But uh, uh, Mr. Bunga Bunga is out and is uh, likely to go to prison, which is fantastic. Won't stop him from running his enormous media empire, won't stop him from owning AC Milan, a whole bunch of television stations, and, and attempting in the process to manipulate the media representation of himself. But thankfully, he's not reached... Um, Rupert Murdoch stages of self-aggrandisation where he's able to completely silence a negative opinion of himself in, in a given country. In Australia, they've got no idea what a... Well, they might do, actually. They, they do travel. They're not a stupid people. But Australia does... If they were to believe the media, they would have no idea what an utter scumbag Rupert Murdoch is. I, uh, he, uh, of all of the media tycoons, I think I possibly hate him the most. He owns possibly the most revolting newspaper sold in the United Kingdom, which is The Sun. 
I don't give a rat's ass about boobs on 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 newspapers. It's an irrelevance. It's they would have uh, gentlemen, naked gentlemen, in the paper if they felt it sold. But women are not interested, or they weren't when page seven was a thing. That men, you know, women weren't interested in seeing uh, mostly naked men, and so that n- never was as much of a success. The naked female, f- there's nothing wrong with the naked female form, and this moral panic uh, about naked women um, just m- makes me angry. The the women that are involved in this bu- uh, business, for the most part, are very self-empowered, very aware of what they do, very well paid for what they do. And they call the shots. If they didn't want to do it, they wouldn't do it. A lot of them aspire to 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 the to this. So you're taking away a um, a channel of employment. I know it's a big deal for some feminists. I can understand their point of view. I really can. I don't necessarily agree with it a hundred percent. I I can see where um i can see the 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 uh, the, the dark side of, of of that side of the industry where um girls are fo- uh, coerced into doing things i don't know we live in a media savvy i mean people expose them more of themselves on facebook than uh, than you know we know more about complete strangers thanks to things like Facebook and Twitter, than we ever would care to know. And the, 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 and the, the, f- the form, the, the, you know, what's under the clothes is just one more part of a person to know. But it's not who a person is. You're not take, by seeing someone naked, you're not, you're not getting a, a, a complete picture of, the, of who they are from that just seeing them naked. <sighs> I, don't think, I don't think you can quickly get... A complete picture of, of of who people are from from a, one thing or another. It's uh, as I've I think I've mentioned before. The truth will always resist simplicity. I have many uh, opinions which conflict with various people in my my circle of friends. For instance, I'm an atheist, but um, a lot of the atheists I know are um, are not. Um, Monarchists, and I am. I love the Queen. I love our old family. I think I love the pomp and circumstance, the the history. The, I mean, I don't, I don't think we have. Uh, I think a lot of our history is is uh, can absolutely something that we should never be proud of. Our colonial history is appalling. What we did to uh, the Aborigines and the, the Maoris in uh, in the uh, Australasia, Oceania is horrifying. Um, what uh, what our uh, colonists did in North America is truly appalling. Um, so there's not a great deal to be proud of on that front. But I, I don't know what it is. I love the Queen. I think she's a wonderful person. I think I I think she, so often she's abused for the sake of it. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's anything to be proud of in doing that. You don't gain anything from that. And uh, the 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 British royal family pays for itself. I know we um we, they have something called the civil list. But actually, when you un- when you understand what the royal family have given up to the people of Great Britain, you would you would shut up. Actually, there's a there's a YouTuber called C G P Gray. Um, search for CGP Grey, and he's got a video on how much the royal family actually costs. You will n- never complain about the royal family and the civil list again if you watch this video. Um, but um, yeah, no. So I mean, obviously, those the, the my views on on the monarchy don't jibe with a lot of my friends' views on. Uh, on the monarchy, who are also atheists. I mean, just because I am an atheist doesn't necessarily tell you everything you need to know about me. I'm quite a sentimental old sod, and I know a lot of atheists who are hardened cynics. I have my cynical edge, but um, I wouldn't say that defines me. 
Um, I'm not a, a born, I suppose you could say I'm a born again atheist in that we're all of us born, born atheist to none of us is religious from birth. There's no such thing as a religious child. There are simply ch children of religious parents and then you become indoctrinated into your parents' religion. Mum, my dad isn't particularly religious. In fact, I think he's probably agnostic rather than atheist. My mum likes to describe herself as spiritual, and we've had a couple of tense discussions about um, religion and my hardened stance against theism. Um, but it was my probably my mum's parents who were the most ardently religious of, of, of the family. They were the ones that believed. They were the ones that um, pushed mum to get us baptised. They were the ones that pushed my brother and I to get confirmed. Once I'd been through that rigmarole and I'd spent a significant amount of time with that process and in that environment, my my ambivalence towards religion became outright hostility. It's it's. I think it was Ad Asimov that said, "The surest way to create an atheist is uh, is or oh, sorry, the surest way to become an atheist is to read the Bible from cover to cover. It is an absolute collection of fallacies, nonsenses, lies, scientific impossibilities, uh, and." Uh, contradiction after contradiction and hypocrisy after hypocrisy and we were talking about uh, a deity that's supposed to be about peace and love but uh, you're born um, broken and commanded to fix yourselves and you're told that this is a god of love but there are repeated examples of um, this so-called god of love committing genocide on an utterly appalling scale. Uh, and the same can be said of the of the Quran. Um, anybody that thinks that the that, that Islam is a religion of peace needs to read the Quran. Um, also, th th there is a particular piece of nonsense that people keep clinging to. Um, the the thing about these seventy virgins it's the it's the, the, the it's the way they persuade easily led young men to strap bombs to their chest and walk into crowded pedestrian areas or onto buses by telling them that when they get to uh, the Islamic version of of heaven that they will amongst other things um, be given seventy two virgins this is actually a poorly sourced Hidad. It's it's like a it's it's like hearsay seven times removed. Someone so and so said so, heard that someone had said that someone had told him that someone else had said that when you get to heaven you get seventy two virgins. I'm sorry, but that's it, a a it's hearsay and it's just it's the sort of pantomime fantasy that's a nonsense. And um, if I may be flippant for a minion, minion, who wants to have sex with a virgin for crying out loud? And I'm sure they're lovely people, but do you really want to spend so much of your time teaching 72 people how, you know, the ins and outs, as it were? Nah. Ooh, busy looking at the clock. Um, if you're wondering why I'm, I keep referring to a clock, is I have to set up a timer for 50 minutes, um, because that's about how long I can record on my iPhone. Um, so... Um, I yeah I know this is this is as low tech as it can get a hey, the cheapest laptop money you can buy, um, the the lowest the lowest graphical fidelity this game can manage, and I'm using an iPhone. There's no way I could screen capture this. Literally, it'd be like watching a slideshow, because the game game capture card would use so much of the CPU that it would become, it would render. Um, it would render it pointless. It would render playing this game pointless. So yeah, so I've got a timer for 15, 50 minutes, five zero minutes, which is about roughly how I can, long I can go. I can probably get 55 minutes, but if I... Oh, we've, we're in Stuttgart, people. We're in Stuttgart. Right, let's go to the bigger map. Um, I, we, I've got a few minutes uh, of leeway with if I set the timer for 50 minutes, and it gives me the opportunity f to say... Um, 
if I've got plenty of journey left, journey time left, it gives me the opportunity to to um, pause the game and uh, um, remove the footage from the phone so that I can then start again, which is fantastic. So. All right, it's my favourite time of the journey. It's parking the damn vehicle. It's parking the damn vehicle time. So let's straighten her up a little bit. Right, so this time I've got to remember to commentate, and I, I, I almost did it again. I almost started. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. We need to move over to the left. So let's let's veer over to the left. I nearly started this parking uh, exercise, um, doing exactly as I did in the last video. Oh, I've overcooked it. I've overcooked it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, this is not going to happen. Darn it. Ugh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I should be able to do this by now. I've done enough of this. I, I Again, it's, I know it's an excuse, but I do get this, this done a lot faster. Hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> um, I do get this a lot fast, done a lot faster in my... Um, private profile but I think that's possibly because I can concentrate on the actual parking and not on um, chatting to you guys not that I want to stop chatting to you guys it's just I need to be able to do both at the same time so we've got an excellent rating thank goodness uh, 511k 6052 minutes of travel time 251.8 litres we had £8,471 with a bonus of 889 as our level 7 proficiency bonus. It's not as much as we earned last time, but we did go a little bit further last time. We got uh, 511 XP and a bonus of 45 XP. Remember, we weren't carrying um, fragile cargo, was it? Not fragile cargo, high value cargo. So we don't get that bonus. We don't get an ADR bonus because we didn't pick up any ADR cargo. So we got a total reward, financial reward of 9,360 and a total XP reward of 556. Um, so we've, got, we've delivered ice cream from Milan to Stuttgart. And we did it. We did it very well. Um, if you've made it all the way to the video, I say this at the end. Of, I've said this at the end of every video. I continue saying it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end, it's very gratifying to know. I I look at my stats, and most people bug out at about two minutes. That's fair enough. If this you can tell if this is going to be your your cup of tea within a couple of minutes, and if you're not, I don't want people watching for the sake of watching. So if you're watching all the way, it's because you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching it. Um, so um, the next time uh, we will take a journey from Stuttgart in Germany. Um, we all, unless something goes colossally wrong, we shall level. We should level up to level eight, which means that we'll have new uh, updates for the truck to look at. Uh, we will have uh, a, a skill point to assign, and um, we'll have more driving to do. So, uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching again, and um, until I see you in the next video, I'll see you on the road.